We are living in a unique moment in history. Transformational changes are happening across sectors faster than ever before. The pace of change is starting to exceed our ability of traditional organizations to adapt. They're still designed like centrally planned economies where one entity decides where does talent go, where do jobs go, where do resources go. And we know central planning doesn't work. It's not able to keep up with this fast pace of competition that we are dealing with. As Jack Welch said, if the rate of change on the outside exceeds the rate of change on the inside, the end is near. So I took 367 companies that have appeared on most innovative lists of the last five years, and I said, how many of these outperform their competition? And what I found is only 13 companies outperform. So there are really only 13 companies that we can say actually are innovative. So I'm not saying it's just good to be good. What I'm saying is that today you no longer get to choose. If you just want to maximize shareholder value, the smart thing to do is to engineer a strategy that is good for the world. What we're trying to do is inconsistent with what's been done before. And the question is, are you going to play this game like a thinker or an out thinker? My favorite phrasing of what they're looking for is that of Gandhi. He said, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, and then you win. This is one strategic concept. It's been around for millennia. We've just changed what we call it. And today, I invite you to call it the fourth option. The reason I call it a fourth option is because it represents the point at which others stop thinking. This idea of a fourth option is the source of all competitive advantage in all domains. If we look at the companies that do outperform their competition, what we see is five things that they do right. First, they avoid the distraction of innovation theater. Second, they don't limit themselves to innovating just in the product. Third, they don't overlook their scale, they embrace their scale. They don't isolate innovation is number four, and they cultivate the garden. They focus on employee-driven innovation. And what I found is that over 70% of society's most transformative innovations came from employees, not entrepreneurs. We're moving from complex plans to simple statements of purpose. Ideas are not gonna come from boardrooms, but they're gonna come from hallways. We're gonna see companies abandoning one business model and embrace having an ecosystem of business models. We're gonna stop moving from asking people to write business plans to allowing them to make experiments, take action on their ideas in order to prove them. We're gonna move from hierarchies to small, agile teams. And companies are gonna evolve from centrally planned economies to platforms where people are free to find opportunities, select them, rally the resources to pursue them and impact the world. The rules are changing for us, and the question is, are you going to start learning how to play the new game, or are you going to keep playing the game the way you have been playing it? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you.